This is the third of three videos about reconciling in Xero. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to create cash transactions. It's all those transactions that aren't payments for sales or purchase invoices. So it could be payments that you've made on your debit card, could be um, direct debits or various other things. And in Xero, they are called spend money and receive money transactions. And we can create them directly from our reconciliation screen. So the, the top bank statement line that we have here is banking, Ridgeway Banking Corporation and spent £15. Now on the other side, Xero has already filled in some details. And why is this? And this is because the more you use Xero, the more it remembers what, you, what you've done before. So what, it's, what Xero is saying is this Ridgeway Banking Corporation has come through on a statement line before and last time it came through, you created a transaction like this to Ridgeway Bank um, and you coded it to the account code in the chart of accounts bank fees with a description of a bank fee and it had a default VAT of, n of no VAT, which means it doesn't go on the VAT return at all. Now, if that's what you want this time, then you just need to click OK. Zero will create that transaction of money going out of your bank and coding it to bank fees, and it will reconcile that transaction to the bank statement line. Now to prove that Xero does remember what you've done before, we have Cooper Street Bakery here and here. So we've not used Cooper Street Bakery be before, it's not turned up on the bank statement before, so the other side under the con create tab is blank. So I need to create a transaction, it'd be a spend money transaction. So it's to Cooper Street Bakery, so I need to type the name in. It doesn't pop up underneath because we've not used this before. Cooper Street Bakery. Okay, so, and it will become a new contact as soon as we um, click OK. So this, we could say that this is uh, some sandwiches we bought when we were um, traveling quite a distance to a meeting. So I'm going to put that under travel. <clears throat> and the default is 20% VAT. And I do have the receipt and there is VAT on it. So I'm going to keep this at 20%. If I needed to change it, I could choose from the drop down uh, uh, next to the 20% here. And I can enter a description. So I can say it's subsistence for meeting in London. And then when I click OK, Xero will create that transaction and match it to the statement line. Now, if I refresh my screen, Xero should fill in the other side next to Cooper Street Bakery. And it does. So it copies exactly what I did before. And this may not be correct this time. I could say it wasn't for a meeting It was in London this time. It was a meeting in... Birmingham and I've actually lost my receipt so I can't claim VAT on this so I'm going to have to code it as zero rated expenses and now I can click OK and zero will create that transaction and match it to the statement line.